An ABC News exclusive. For the first time, the woman in the middle of the John Edwards sex scandal is speaking out about the actions that brought on a political calamity, a trial, and a lot of anger from those who watched it. Tonight, a preview of ABC's Chris Cuomo one-on-one -on -one with Riel Hunter. Riel Hunter has been accused of being a seductress and a homewrecker. Riel Hunter as in man hunter, destroyer of marriage, destroyer of John Edwards. First and foremost, I'm a mom, and I'm also a woman who fell in love with a married man. Hunter first met John Edwards in 2006, a chance encounter at a bar in a New York hotel. That same night, he would offer a dangerous invitation. He invites you to his hotel room. Usually a situation that you avoid when it's a married man. Fair point? Yes. Why did you go? I went there because I believed that I could help him. Help him with what? <laughs> Let me well, I mean, like, what a joke. No, like, from the, the, the outside world looking in, like, boy, did you sure help him. But this situation would become very serious very fast when Hunter became pregnant while Edwards was seeking the presidency. You tell John his reaction? Um, gracious. Gracious? You mean, like, goodness gracious. What do you mean, gracious? It was, um, he was kinder and more gentle than I thought he would be. Hunter would then become a participant in a cover-up so elaborate that another man would claim paternity of her baby, and the real father would eventually face criminal charges over it. I know that it's not possible. Then she watched with horror as the man she loved denied his child on national television. I don't know who that, I don't know who that baby is. And he lies. And he does it with a straight face. That was devastating. I mean, he had really gone off the deep end a bit there. And, and, but it was painful to witness. Hunter also treads into controversial territory when she writes in her new book about the marriage of John and Elizabeth and says Elizabeth was an emotionally abusive spouse, uninterested in the truth of her husband's affair. As a general rule, someone who was in your position vis-a-vis -vis John Edwards should not be talking about his dead wife. You understand that, right? I do understand that. My desire is to tell the truth, to help people understand instead of judge. And that's a really important point, that last one. Riel Hunter, Diane, is not into judgment. And that's why in this book she is so unfailingly apologetic about John Edwards. But saying nothing about the pattern of lying that we saw in the trial? She sees it. She's not foolish. But she has an excuse for him every step along the way, even to go so far as to blame his wife for his behavior until he denies Francis Quinn on television with Bob Woodruff. From that moment, the mother takes over, and there are different feelings now than there were before.